wow. Man, I cast it out and uh, I just was just letting it sink. Kind of weird, kind of weird. It uh, felt sh head shaking right Oh, there it goes. Of course I turned my GoPro off because oh I lost it no oh man I really wanted to know what that was oh man that's disappointing check it out I'm the only person here that's kind of cool It'll be full before too long, though. New window decal. You guys honk if you see me riding around. I have no idea why you're honking at me, but maybe I'll remember that I, that I put this on a video. So out here at a uh, got that uh, <laughs> out here at um, Opal Beach. And the place just opened up, doesn't open up till eight, so that's why there's nobody in the parking lot. But I'm gonna do some walking on the beach and see if we can spot something. I was just fishing a couple miles down and hooked into something of good size. Lost it as I got close to the beach, though. So that always sucks. But let's see what we can catch. Seeing a massive feeding frenzy down the beach. Lots of birds. So I'm gonna make a way down there. See if I can uh, see what we can do. Hopefully it'll still be going on by the time I get there. Right, stay tuned. Oh, oh. <laughs> I ate it. I got hooked up on a fish <laughs> and, and slipped. Oh man, I lost him. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Not sure if that was a bluefish or not. He came flying out of the water. Might have been a ladyfish. I can see a school of fish right out in front of me. The sun's getting just about right. There's all kinds of fish near him. Dang, he lost another one. What in the world? Maybe I'm maybe I should switch lures. The hook, the treble hook on this lure is a little bit a little bit smaller than I would really like it to be. But maybe it's just bad luck. By the way, this is a one and a half ounce gotcha. I think it's a sea striker, gotcha diamond jig. Uh, had pretty good luck with it. Man, they are just everywhere. Come on up here, dude. There we go. 
decent. Better be careful. I hooked myself. Yeah, look at them all. That's crazy. Let's see if I can just uh, cane pole it and get a little bit more out there. <laughs> oh, that's a big old lady fish right there. Holy moly. You got it, buddy. Go ahead. Not quite, huh? There, dude. That was pretty cool. Yeah, I think all the fish that are on top of the water there that we're seeing, hopefully you guys can see them in the camera there. I think those are all ladyfish, but there's bluefish mixed in with them. getting followed by like 20 other fish. <sighs> Check that guy out. I'm gonna hang on to him, man. The hook kind of tore his mouth up pretty bad, and I was planning on keeping fish or two. I was hoping for a little bit bigger one, but I don't want him to. I don't want him to die out there. So we'll keep him. We'll cut it. We'll play him up and make some dinner out of him. back to where I was. I walked a couple miles down the beach and maybe we didn't really see a whole lot. A few, few feeding frenzies, but uh, definitely more action back where I was. So I'm gonna head back there and uh, maybe we'll just hang out there and just try to spot fish and you know catch bluefish. Did I finally stick one? Let's see. Alright, what are you? It's not 
bobbing his head much. I think it is a bluefish. Come on, buddy. Jumping out of the water. Ah, wow. There we go. Man. All right, dude, don't bleed on me. pretty hefty I was hoping to catch one more uh, at least maybe two more so four total I should be plenty to make a good bowl of smoked fish dip uh, beach groceries try to get one more got maybe 10 minutes or so before I need to take off and got some stuff I need to take care of so let's see if we can get one more fish oh there we go he hammered it okay let's see if we can get this one in see him just on the dark side back side of the, the grass right there looks like another blue which is what I was hoping for I can just get him on the beach without losing him going for a baker's dozen get on up here dude tired <laughs> we go nice little bluefish oh god get, get yourself all sandy for the picture man <laughs> so got four fish Pretty happy with that. I haven't kept any bluefish for a while, but I told myself last time that I caught some that I wanted to try to keep some because you know they're they're pretty good when you eat them fresh. I know a lot of people don't like to eat them, but you know everybody's got their own opinion. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna take them home, get them uh, get them cleaned up, and uh, we'll see if we can get some dip made. So I got my bluefish all cut up here in this bag. I did uh, cut out most of the bloodline, pretty much all of it. Um, and it resulted in some smaller, smaller piece of fish, um, more kind of like fish nuggets, I guess. Um, it actually works out really good for uh, uh, frying, uh, battering up and frying. I actually did a little bit of this last night um, along with some pompano and it turned out great. Um, just, you, could, you couldn't even really tell the difference. It was just, um, just a little bit different texture in the meat 
Uh, the meat is kind of flaky when you're filleting it, but once you uh, once you fry it up, it, it firms up pretty good. Um, so I'm gonna take this fish and put it on this pan um, with a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, and I'm gonna throw it in the oven for 10, 12 minutes and cook it up. And then we're gonna let it sit, let it cool for a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna hit it with a little more olive oil on top. Little salt pepper really doesn't matter I'm just trying to get the fish cooked um, we're gonna make a tip out of it and that's gonna most of the flavor is gonna come from all the other ingredients that we put in so um, not really all that concerned about what the fish how the fish you know cooks so all right so I went ahead and put a little bit of Creole seasoning on there um, figured it wouldn't hurt gonna put some more in the uh, dip mix anyway so I'm gonna throw it in, set it for about 14 minutes. Little Duke's mayonnaise. A little whip uh, cream cheese. The whip stuff kind of makes it uh, easier to, to stir. I'm using sour cream. The recipe does not call for sour cream, but I like to put it in there because it kind of gives it a better texture. But uh, it's completely up to you. A little Creole seasoning. Paprika, oh, garlic powder, that's probably a lot. A little Worcestershire sauce, however you say it. Uh, so the most important ingredient in this is the liquid smoke. Um, recommend doing uh, half a teaspoon to start and then you can always add more uh, if you like. And I like to add a little Tabasco. Perfect.